Hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to learn an interesting use case to know the percentage of highlighted or filled value in a bar visual. So when you click on a particular visual, the bar visual has a property by which it can showcase you the fill portion or the highlight portion. But Today, we would like to know what percentage it contribute to the overall value. So let's understand this with an example on Power BI first. So I am on my Power BI and as you can see, I have two visuals out here. The visual one is a table visual showing category and the second visual is showing a bar visual. The bar visual has a label which is showing the value of that particular bar. Now what I would like is when I click on the category 1, it will fill or highlight the portion which brand 1 is having for category 1 and I would also like to know the percentage of that. So the value has reduced and we also got the percentage of fill or highlight. So this is what we want to learn today, how to get percentage of fill or highlight portion in a bar visual so let's try that out to do that let me open a new file with the same model so the model which i am going to use is the model which i am using in most of my videos so let me go to the model view and inside the model view this is my model in my model i have a central sales table which is joined with date dimension item dimension, geography dimension and customer dimension. All joins are one to many single directional. This is a retail sales data with sales date, date delivery date and keys like customer ID joining with customer, city ID joining with city item id joining with item and sales date joining with sales the pbx file and the source file required for this model is available on the github also from where you can get it if you want the files which i am using in the video you can go to github.com amit chandak pbi slash power bi and here if you scroll down you will find most of the file which i use some of the important file is at small github dot pbix which is a pbix on my common sales model if you further go down you will find pivot data dot xls which is used for power query videos then you will find important files like sales data used in video which is used for most of the power bi recordings case data for fabric which is used for most of the fabric recordings for beginner tutorial series youtube.xls this file is usually used in the beginner tutorial series at the beginning before i started using the sales data used in video there are quite a few other files which has been used in different different videos and in those videos you will find the reference of those files on github some of you are not able to access the github account you can ping me in the comments and I'll provide you the Dropbox link of the same files. So I am on a new Power BI file with the same model and I will now start creating the percentage of fill or highlight scenario which we have discussed. So let me click on a new page from the bottom and let me start creating the visualization. So the first visualization which I'm going to create is I'm going to bring item category on a table visual. Now I would like to create a brand visual along with my major net. As you can see, if I select the value, the visual is showing a highlight or fill. Let me unselect everything and change the visual to clustered column chart. Now why this is the behavior between the two visuals? To understand that click on the visual 
go to format and edit interaction as you can see right now when my table visual is clicked and edit interactions are on you can see my visual is in highlight mode this is the filter mode if i now click the values it will reduce the values but if i am in the highlight mode it start highlighting how much value that particular category have inside that brand so now we understood how we are getting this behavior let's try to implement the percentage of this highlighted value first of all we would like to enable the label and to do so i need to get the format format in my case is available on right hand side and i can click on that and open it if you don't see that option you can also click on three dots and format it should open a format pane if you scroll down you will see this option data label and you can click that on the moment you click it will start showing you the values and as you can see it is already showing you the highlighted value if nothing has been checked it will show you full value anything has been checked it will show you that highlight value so part one of the problem is solved so we know the current net value is the net value which we plan to show the highlighted value or the full value but what we need next is the percentage of fill or to do that we need to know percentage of fill and how we are going to show that second label to do that let me first create a major which shows me percentage of fill to do that i can click on any of the major i'll get major tool and inside that i have new major once i click on the new major i'll get a major where i can create percent of total cat once I given the name on the left hand side, I can go ahead and write down my formula. My formula is divide. My current value of net is sufficient for me. But the denominator I need calculate net remove filters. What filter I want to remove? I want to remove the category filter. So item category. I want to retain my brand filter. I only want to remove the category filter, and that's why I'm using this. Then I'm closing the remove filters, calculate and divide. Once this major is created, I will mark it as a percentage major also. Now I have a percentage major. Where to use it? Now with the enhancement in the label, I have few options inside the label. Let me click on to the visualization and go back to the data label if i scroll further down i have option for title value and detail value is already enabled now i would like to give additional details so i'll use details and here when i switch it on i can add additional measure and let me add it here once i add here you will see the percentage is coming but that's not that doesn't seems to be correct to correct that go ahead to the display unit and change it to none now the percentage seems correct it is 100 percent but if you remember when i've shown you this initially the 100 percent was not appearing when nothing was selected so we need to achieve that to do that i will go back to this measure and add additional condition the condition here is if is filtered item category so when the item category is filtered then you show me this divide else you can show me blank or let me simply close without else the moment i do that you will realize now i'm not getting any value because category is not filtered let me filter the category now the moment i filter the category you can see the percentage that category has in each brand Now, if you want it to be animated kind of a visual, you can add a custom visual play axis, which I have already added in this file. To add this, you can go to the three dots, get more visual, and from there you can add it. Make sure your organizations have allowed you to do so. So let me add play axis visual here. 
I click on empty space. Play axis visual has been added. I can drag category into the play axis visual now. And let me try to play it. As you can see, it's showing like an animated visual. Now you can change the animation setting to loop. And once you do that, once you start it, it will continue to play. I can give it as a better place it's to showcase what category it is showing right now. So now you can see it is showing which category and based on that the filter the visual is showing the percentage highlight or the percentage selected value. So why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to consider in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.